It's so easy to get distracted. Good neighbor. Lowest place in the Commonwealth. Everything not nailed down rolls through here at some point. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the Lomi. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Dr. Amari? Yes? Wait, I remember you. The memory inducement. Vault 111, right? What's this all about? You're the one who can extract memories from a brain, right? Normally, we only allow our clients to experience their own memories. Now, what's this all about? We need a deep dig, Amari, but it's not gonna be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Isn't there some way to make this work? This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. So do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Nick's an older model synth. Is he still compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see, Hero. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. 
Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But what if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Any idea of what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like, before the big war. Don't you listen to that, Dwight. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. 
You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless, but you won't turn up like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun on your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is... You only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. It's gonna be fun. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. You'll see. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No. I never deserved her. Not for one second. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you.
Suit yourself. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me, oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. you decided to meet with me. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. So, you're with the... You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement suited me just fine. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. See for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. 
B748. Initiate. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. I was now I'll try the to institute's main operator as in the Commonwealth. Please try to remain calm. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Big heads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me, and I made sure they knew it. All computers are still working. Big heads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me, and I made sure they knew it. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just... Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay? Come here. Come here, baby. No. I got it! Almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This whole setup this in Diamond City was part memory. of some elaborate so plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet.
project, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big cry? The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. This is this time. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. To forget about. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. But the And I can get over crying. X six eighty eight. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. It's all over. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Uh, am I okay? Are you seeing anything... anything bad? Don't be alarmed, but I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory, but your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? You were along for the ride, weren't you? You saw what I saw. Yes, but it's important we review everything together, in case either of us missed anything. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. 
Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor? That would be perfect. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. So be sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. I removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs.